Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to format JSON API response in our Java project by using add the rate JSON property annotation and add the rate JSON include annotation. Okay, first let's create one Spring Boot project. So here I have just defined project type is maven and language java and spring boot version that is latest 3.1.0 here i am using and project metadata i have defined the artifact id is format json response demo and in packaging we are using jar and java version is 17 and here i have just added one dependency that is spring web so here i will just click on new project and here we need to select maven next and here i will define the path of our spring boot project finish so here we can see it is our project structure inside source we can see main and test folder inside main java so here we have only one class that is format json response demo application so after that we will just create one controller class and inside controller class we will define one rest endpoint so here i will define user controller and inside controller class we need to define annotation at the rate rest controller at class level and method level we will use at the rate get mapping annotation because we are going to create get api and here we can define and the method name here public and here we will just return one user object so we need to create one more class so here we will define one new package so this is model package and inside model we will define one class that is user class and inside user class we can define any number of property so here i will define private int age private string name so here we will use setter getter method for these two properties so here we will go to generate and here we will select getter and setter and we'll select both and click on ok now we will go back to our controller class and here we will define one method name get user details and here we will return user object return get user so here we will import user class model and here we need to import cat mapping so here we will define one method get user in our controller class user is equal to new user so here we will set user dot set age 25 and here we will use user dot set name wiki and here we will return this object that is user and here we can define any url path like user ok let's start our application and run and test our api So here we can see our application has started at port number 8080. Let's scroll to this endpoint. So we will go to browser and here we will just call localhost 8080 user and here we will get the response is 25 name is wiki 
now if we want to change the property name here like name instead of name we want to show username and instead of age we want to show user age then we will go back to our model class and inside user.java we will define at the rate json property annotation at the rate json property annotation so here we will define user age and instead of name if you want to show something different so we can use user name and we will use add the rate json property annotation let's stop the our application and start it again so here we can see our application has started at port number 8080 let's refresh this endpoint and here we can see now our property name is user age and user name so like this we can do some more changes like if inside our controller class if we are sending user dot age not sending anything here i have removed user dot set age and i have restarted my application okay let's call this rest endpoint again so here we can see it's showing user age is zero because here we are using int if we are using integer then here we can define integer now it will return null instead of zero here because integer default value is null okay let's stop my application and start it again now here we can see our application has started at port number 8080 okay let's reset refresh this endpoint and we will see the response because we have replaced integer instead of int and we also need to do the same changes here so we can do the changes here and let's clear all the logs and call to this rest endpoint again so now here we can see user age is null and username is wiki if you don't want to show null properties in the response model then we can add annotation that is json include no null so here i will define at the rate json include and here we need to define value property and here we will define include no null okay let's refresh this endpoint again but we need to start our restart our application again so first i will stop and start it again so here we can see our application has started okay let's refresh this endpoint and call it again so here we can see now it's just showing username is equal to wiki because our age have null value so if i will comment this also so now here we can see I have I am just returning empty user object having both property have null values so in the response model it will just return an empty object but we have not added at the rate json include no null at name so we need to do some changes here I will just copy the same line and we can paste here if we don't want to show null value in the response model like this we can perform json format uh, if we refresh this and here we can see it's showing just empty object because we are handling no null property also it will not include any no null value in the response model okay like this we can format our json api response thanks for watching this video